In this video, we're going to go through how you can optimize performance and look for bottlenecks in your Power BI reports using the performance analyzer. We're going to go through these step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Feren and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the Performance Analyzer is a built-in tool within Power BI Desktop that allows you to optimize your report's performance by allowing you to see how long each of your visuals take to load. It's not uncommon for bulky reports to take a bit longer to load visuals, and it could be for different reasons. Maybe it's because the DAX code is not properly optimized, or maybe the render time for the visual takes a long time. Knowing where the bottleneck is of your loading time allows you to focus your efforts on reducing those first. And Performance Analyzer allows you to pinpoint which visual it is. Once you know where the problem is, you can apply the appropriate fix to the report. Every report is different in approach, so the solution to your problem might be different for every project. We won't go too deep into the performance optimization. We're just going to go through the activity of identifying them first. You can find Performance Analyzer under the View ribbon. And if you select Performance Analyzer here, this will open up a pane which allows you to start recording. Starting this will allow Power BI Desktop to monitor every event that happens in your report. Events are when your users interact with your report. So for example, if they select any data in a slicer or maybe selecting visuals like this to cross filter other visuals in your page. When this happens, usually other visuals in your report will refresh and will need to recalculate. So if we deselect this and hit start recording, so now that the recording has started, any interaction with the report will be logged here in this pane. So if we do another cross filter like this, for example, you'll see that an action will be added into our table here with all the visual elements that are affected by that action. And you see if we do other things, like for example, selecting a different date in our filter here, you'll see it will add more actions here, along with all the visuals that is affected. Each element here is a visual in your page. They might have generic names like buttons or cards. So it may not be so easy to tell which visualization it is. However, if you click it, you'll notice that it will highlight in our page which visual it refers to. You can do this to identify which visual it is in the page or you can simply rename it in the selection pane right here. So this will allow you to rename these visuals into something a little bit more meaningful. So if you double click, for example, this will be the headcount card, for example, there we go. Each element captured by the performance analyzer has a duration. So this is how long it took Power BI to refresh that visual in milliseconds. So Essentially, a thousand milliseconds is about a second. If you expand the elements, it will show you a breakdown of that duration. So the DAX query is how long it took for your calculation to perform. The visual display is how long it took to render your visual onto the report. Other will usually have the longest duration. You can simply ignore this because there's nothing you can do at this point to optimize this. You can sort the duration by descending. This will allow you to easily identify which visual takes the longest to load. If you wanted to see how the page loads all the visuals when it's first opened, you can simply select refresh visuals here. It will simply add an action that will reload all the visuals that you have in your page. Now with this information, you can easily identify which visual takes the longest to load and what you need to optimize. Is it the DAX code that is being inefficient? Or maybe you're visualizing too many data points that it's taking Power BI a long time to load your visual. If you wanted to analyze performance in a deeper level, you can copy the queries, each of the queries like this, 
or you can export it into a JSON file, which you can import into other third-party tools like the Advanced Performance Analyzer, for example. Adam from Guy in a Cube covered this in a video, and this tool basically makes it easier to understand what the logs are actually telling you. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start using Performance Analyzer to optimize the performance of your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.